the events. So welcome to the um, LBNL booth, and uh, this is the booth for Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, and uh, we have a lot of great um, activities here in the computing sciences area. I'm Kathy Yellick, and I'm the Associate Lab Director for Computing Sciences. So to start with, um, I'll talk a little bit about our facility. We have a facility called NERSC, the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center, and we are the production computing facility for the DOE Office of Science. So what that means is we do all of the open scientific computing that um, is done within DOE in the Office of Science, and we serve a very broad population of users from everything from very large petascale sized jobs to much smaller um, applications. We have about 3,000 users at NERSC. Um, we, we have a new system on the floor. Um, we're about to start acceptance of that system, so it currently belongs to Cray, but it's a Cray XE6 system, which is their latest technology with their very high speed, low latency network. Um, there's a picture of what is uh, on the front of the Hopper um, system, which is up there. It is named after Grace Murray Hopper. Um, early computer scientists. We actually name all of our computers after scientists, trying to keep with the uh, science theme of NERSC. And um, so that's a picture of what Hopper looks like without the, uh, the borders for the, each of the cabinets. Um, we also have a fac another facility at Berkeley Lab, which is the um, ESNet networking facility. So you can see that. Um, there's a picture of the network up there um, with the ESNet logo. And there's actually a demonstration over there on the globe that you can see, which is photosynthesis data. Um, that is data that's been, that can be moved across the network stored at one location, moved across the high-speed network, analyzed at another location. And so it's a demonstration of how the um, how the, the kinds of software technology and hardware technology within ESNet work. Um, ESNet also has a, a, a stimulus-funded project, an ARA project, called the Advanced Networking Initiative, or ANI. And they're going to be deploying um, 100 gigabit per second um, test bed in order for the scientific community to really try to become leaders, uh, push the technology forward within the U.S. to demonstrate this very high speed, um, the wide area network capability. Uh, we also have a research division, the computational research division. Um, within the CRD division, there are people that do basic research on things like climate modeling with computation, um, cosmology, and analyzing cosmological data. There's some pictures of deep sky, um, some co computer scientists, which is my own research area. Um, in the past, looking at um, the kinds of technology changes that are coming, that will be coming with exascale computing. So um, we're looking at multi-core processors, GPU, accelerators um, and uh, the, the networks um, and also trying to understand how the applications the um, system level software and the algorithms are going to have to change with those kinds of changes in the architecture so we have a very strong I think um, world recognized um, applied math research group within the computational research division they do research and advanced algorithms for that are driven by the needs of these kind of new new architectures that are coming from um, the roadmap that are, will lead us to exascale computing, but also new algorithms that come from the new science domains where people discover new ways of doing either data analysis or um, simulation and modeling and developing algorithms for that and, and uh, um, analysis techniques and things for, the, for those kinds of scientific domains. So that kind of covers the, um, I think, the breadth of activities here in the research division as well as the uh, two facilities, NERSC and ESNet. Um, a tremendous uh, impact, I think, on the scientific community. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, we're